Israel has, says it has just launched a wide-scale attack on Hamas military targets in Gaza. Our Ian Lee is in Gaza right now. Ian, what's happening? Well, Robin, this uh, large-scale air assault carried out by Israel started uh, about a few hours ago. We've been seeing in the distance these flashes of light followed by the smoke of these airstrikes. Uh, what we're being told by the Israeli military is that this uh, wide-scale attacks against Hamas targets inside of the Gaza Strip. We're also hearing reports that there are rockets being fired uh, towards uh, towards. Uh, different areas inside of Israel, Israel striking in central Gaza, uh, close to where uh, those what we're hearing those rockets are taking off from. Uh, this is a very tense situation, Robin. Uh, this has the writing has been on the wall for a potential war for quite some time. You talk to people here, it's on their lips. Uh, and also in Israel, they've been talking of a potential war. Uh, now, the UN special coordinator for the Middle East, Nikolai Mladenov, has stressed to both sides to back down before this turns into a bigger uh, conflict. But earlier in this day along that fence which we've been covering for quite some time Robin uh, there was violent confrontation between uh, protesters Palestinians and the Israeli forces uh, we're hearing that uh, four Palestinians have been killed although these are members of Hamas's military wing Al Qassam uh, Israel saying that uh, Hamas launched an attack at their soldiers uh, and uh, that's when they retaliated uh, but tonight, Robin, again, it is very tense as we wait to see what is going to unfold. More airstrikes, likely. More rockets and mortars fired, likely. What does that mean for the people of Gaza? Well, Robin, they're going to bunker down tonight.